Hello and welcome to Sudokanar. Here is a killer Sudoku puzzle that was featured on the latest Sudoku Mahabharat round, which was a mouths round, and it was set by Mad Mahogany, whose name is written here. So the rules of killer Sudoku are that whenever you have a cage with a number, the number must be the sum of all digits in the cage plus when a cage is over several blocks, several boxes, then all digits must be different. Well, when they're inside the box, obviously all digits must be different by the standard rules of Sudoku. And it was one of the higher pointers in the, this round, and I failed to solve it at the time, and because I just missed an easy deduction, and that was seven. I was just not in a good day. So how do we get to solve this? Well, the important thing to know is that the sum of all digits in a column, in a row or in a box is 45. Here, those two cages have a combined sum of 42, which means that three is the sum of these two cells. So they have to be one and two. And here's the easy deduction that I missed. This with this 19 cell, this 19 sum, well, those two digits have a maximum sum of nine plus eight, that's 17. So the maximum has to apply. This is a two, this is a one, and we get an eight, nine pair. Something that is important to know in a killer Sudoku is that the only way of having 10 as the sum of four different digits is one, two, three, four, and we get a one here. Now this is two or three, and we get a two, three, four triple. Next, what do we have? Here, 25 plus 16 is 41, so we have a sum of four here, and because of this one, we have one and three in this order. That's 40, so this plus that has a sum of five. And because of those digits, it won't be one plus four, it will be two plus three. And because of those, we can put them this way. Now here, we need another 13. And the maximum we can make without using 8 and 9 is 13 with 6 and 7. So we get this 6 and this 7. Here, those four digits must have a sum of 17. And the minimum we can have is 8 plus 6 plus 2 plus 1, which makes 17. So this minimum has to apply. And we get those digits. And then, then what? What is the next deduction? That's a, a valid question. This two here allows me to erase this one. I need some. 13, not sure how to do that. Oh, there's a 10 here. That's one, two, three, four. And because of those, we have two and four here, one and three down there. So there must be a two up there, which is not very interesting. But now there has to be a four here, four, plus 11. 11 without using 2, 3, or 4 is 5 plus 6. So this is 5, 4, 5, 6, triple. And 4 is at the top. And we now need a 1 somewhere in this cage. So it's here. 7 has to go here because of this. And this is an 8, 9 pair. What's next? Um, on this row, I still need five and six. 
right this plus that is 13 so this is 8 or 7 correspondingly and I make this 6 or 5 just to see how it corresponds with this this plus that has a sum of 13 because this is 32 so this is 7 or 8 and we get a 7 8 pair here there's a 9 somewhere together with 8 and 5 or 7 and 6 here we have 33 so this is 12 so we get a 4 or a 5 but then I I synchronized the, my pencil marks so that we have two scenarios for those digits the left hand scenario and the right hand scenario and you see that those fives collide so we must erase them and we are in the left hand scenario so now this is nine eight and five we have 16 here that's a total of 33 so this plus that is 12 without using a 7 without using a 4 it has to be 3 and 9 3 and 9 in this order so this is not a 9, that's not a 3, we still need 6 or 8 here, 8 and 2 go there by standard Sudoku deductions, this is 6 or 8, and I think that's it for this part of the grid. On this column, I need a 2. It's not here. It won't be here because there's a 2, 3, 4 triple, so it has to be down there. So this is a 3, that's a 4. And those are, well, 4, which is not here, it's there, and 5. Um, next step will be. Let's have a look. On this row, I still need a 3. It's not here, so it has to go there. We still need 6, 8, and 7. And this is 6 or 8. And here we have 5, 7, and 9. Let's have a look at this 12 cage. The missing digit now must be 5, 4, or 3. Corresponding to this one. That's 34, so this plus that is 11. So this is, oh, 5 would make this a 6, which would conflict. Four makes this a seven, that seems to work, and three makes this an eight. All right. Is there anything by Sudoku? Oh yes, there's a one here. One with what? Um, with ten. <laughs> But which way of having 10? Nothing seems to be very obvious. Probably not the right place to look. Seven, eight, this is five, six or nine. Not that interesting, I guess.
So one has to be in one of those cells. Two has to be somewhere in there, but not sure where. Hmm. Something interesting is that five can't be in here because then we would need one five and five. So five has to be in one of those two cells. So we need a five in one of those. Plus 12, which will be five, three, nine, or five, four, and eight. Is there something that could be ruled out? Not really, I think. Bobbins. Um, well, if if this is three and nine, then nine must go here. Five three. That seems to work. Five four and eight. That seems to work as well. But now let's have a look here. We've seen that 5 is not in those cells, so 5 must be in the 16 cage. We need another 11 without using 3, so it will be 5, 9, and 2, or 5, 7, and 4. But 4 is not available. So it will be 5, 9, and 2. So, wow, that's some progress at, at last. 2, 9. Oh, and actually 2 is here. With a 5, 9 pair. So I get this 8, this 9. And now, <clears throat> sorry, the digits here must be 4 and 6. And because of this 4, we get 4 and 6. We need another 15 without using the 6, so that's 7 and 8. And now this is 5, 9 and 3. And because of this 9, 9 is here. And we get 3 and 5. Okay, that's a 6, that's a 4, that's a 5. No 5s here. This is Sorry, that's a five. And this here, make this an eight and that's a six. We get the six here. Okay, is that all for the top part? I think it is. Here I get eight and seven. There's an eight here. And then six and four, and here they are. Now down there, so this is not a six. And we get a five nine pair. Mm -hmm. How would this resolve? Here I need another 9 without using 5 plus 4, without using 1, so it has to be 2, 7, or 3, 6. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I had missed this 3, making this a 4, and this a 7, okay. And with that, I get this to this four. And this seven now makes this an eight, this a seven. So I was saying I need another eight and it can only be three and six with a two here and one and eight. Still not finished. 
There's still some work to do. So those sums will have to be used, but we need a two here. This is five or nine, and the remaining digit on the row is three. So five, three or nine, so this is three or nine. Three, five, or nine. And how do we make this work? We need 13 here. So how do we do that? With three and nine, that's 12, 14, and it works with the one. But if I make this a five, Oh yes, if I make this a 5, that's 7, we need another 8, and it will be 3 and 5, which is not available. So it has to be a 3-9 pair. And I get this 5. And that's a 1. So I think this should do the, the trick. Because of this one, I get this, this, this 9, this 3, this 9, this 8. That's a 3, that's a 1. That's a 6, that's a 5. All right. And now, that's a 7. I get this 9, this 7, this 5, this 9, and... The last digits are this 6, this 5, and this is truly 18. Okay, so that was uh, a bit tricky. That, that was not um, a monstrously difficult Kira Sudoku, but there was definitely some work to do. A very nice puzzle and a very good round, actually. I was not very good at this round, but Mad Mahogany was. Thanks for watching this video. See you soon on Sudokanar.